The tale revolves around Kim min Kyu, a wealthy businessman who grapples with an unusual ailment. Each time he comes into contact with another person, he experiences severe rashes and difficulty breathing, occasionally even fainting or facing the threat of death. Despite his longing for a romantic relationship, min Kyu is unable to approach women due to his condition. Consequently, he has spent the past 15 years confined to his home, with his only confidant being his personal physician, Dr. O. The doctor, despite attempting numerous remedies, has been unsuccessful in finding a cure. Eventually, Dr. O advises min Kyu to embrace his solitary existence and provides him with a smartwatch that employs colors to monitor his allergic reactions. The watch indicates blue for normal, yellow for a mild reaction, orange when min Kyu's airways are constricting, and red when his life is in imminent danger, an intensity he has yet to experience. One day, min Kyu receives a surprise visit from a brilliant scientist named Professor Hong, who informs him about a groundbreaking development. Professor Hong and his team have successfully created an exceptionally intelligent robot capable of assisting min Kyu with his household tasks. As a non-human entity, the robot named Aji-3 poses no threat to min Kyu's health. However, the price tag for this robotic companion is a staggering 100 billion won. Initially skeptical, min Kyu decides to satiate his curiosity and ventures to the laboratory to meet with Professor Hong. Upon arrival, he is greeted by Aji-3, an astonishingly lifelike robot with the appearance of a beautiful woman who introduces herself as the advanced AI creation of Professor Hong. min Kyu is amazed by her appearance, and when he touches her, there is no noticeable change in him. Thrilled by this new revelation, he promptly expresses his interest in purchasing Aji-3 and even investing funds in the project. However, he wants to test the robot first, which he plans to do the following day. Sadly, disaster strikes that night at the lab. One of Professor Hong's team members accidentally spills soda on Aji-3's core processor, causing a short circuit. The professor and the rest of the team are devastated because it may take several days to repair the robot. Since their deal with min Kyu could be cancelled if Aji-3 is not delivered on time, Professor Wong is forced to devise a new plan. He recalls his ex-girlfriend, Jia, who happens to be an inventor and the prototype for the robot Aji-3. Since Wong built the robot to resemble her, he meets Jia, and despite their awkward reunion, he offers her a salary of 10 million won to disguise herself as Aji-3 for one day. Initially hesitant due to their history, Jia agrees to the offer because she desperately needs the money. Professor Wong takes Jia to his lab, where they show her the robot. With the help of the scientists, they transform Jia to look like Aji-3 by outfitting her with armor, a new wig, and contact lenses functioning as cameras. These lenses also allow the professor and his team to monitor Jia and send her instructions in the form of text or videos. The next day, Jia is sent to min Kyu's house as planned. However, when he opens the box, she is taken aback. It turns out they have met before when she worked as a food delivery girl, and their encounter was unpleasant as min Kyu attempted to leave without paying, though he was actually trying to avoid physical contact. Surprised, min Kyu immediately contacts the professor to demand an explanation. Fortunately, the professor invents a story about Aji-3 having two modes, operational mode and friend mode. The robot has two modes, operational mode, where it behaves professionally, and friend mode, where it acts more human-like. Currently, it is in friend mode, but it can be switched to operational mode by pressing the reset button located behind its neck. Naive min Kyu falls for this and resets the robot. After Jia returns to normal, min Kyu decides to test her intelligence. However, the lab loses power, causing Jia to lose connection to the IG3 system. Now, she has to rely on herself, but her IQ is only 94. Initially, Jia is asked to unlock a box with a password that can only be obtained by solving a complex calculus problem within a time limit of three minutes. Since she doesn't know calculus, she simply breaks the box open, surprising min Kyu. Next, she is challenged to peel an egg without using any tools within a time limit of 10 seconds. Due to her past experience working in restaurants, she effortlessly completes the task. min Kyu is greatly impressed and praises the robot for its intelligence and creativity. ji who has never received praise for her intelligence, smiles gently. Meanwhile, the lab's electricity is restored. 
However, when they connect Jiao's lenses, they are astonished to witness her shouting at Minkyu. She accuses him of being a pervert after catching him staring at her chest, which appears to have grown larger overnight. Minkyu suggests examining her chest to check the battery pack and reaches out his hand. In horror, the professor drops to his knees and can barely respond when Minkyu calls. Minkyu demands to know whom they are trying to deceive, but they are relieved when he only accuses them of using cheap batteries, causing Aji-3's chest to expand. Hong stutters for a while and lies, claiming he merely upgraded Aji-3's battery pack. He also warns Minkyu not to touch her chest. After ending the call, Minkyu takes his medicine but suddenly chokes. He collapses to the floor and starts convulsing. Fortunately, Jia helps him by patting his back and Minkyu regains consciousness. He gazes at the robot in astonishment and asks why she helped him without any orders. Jia responds that she can do many things. Surprisingly, Minkyu does not experience an allergic reaction when they have physical contact for the first time. At the end of the day, Jia is brought back to the lab. Professor Hong scolds her because she nearly exposed herself, but Jia is annoyed as she believes she did a good job. Frustrated by the lack of appreciation, she storms out of the place. Shortly after, the professor receives unpleasant news. The special part they ordered for Aji-3's repair was mistakenly sent to Africa and will take weeks to arrive. To worsen matters, ming calls at that exact moment and expresses his desire to keep Aji-3 for a month. He desires to train the robot extensively and customize it to his requirements. In a desperate situation, the professor contacts Jiao once again and asks her to masquerade as the robot for a few weeks. This time he commends her and offers a larger sum, which leads her to agree immediately. Professor Hong then explains that Jiao will have to work at the mansion and return to the lab every night for recharging until the real Aji-3 is repaired. Unfortunately, the very next day at her job, Jia experiences a sudden bout of diarrhea. She tries to control it, but unintentionally releases a fart. Confused, ming asks about the sound, to which Jia, posing as the robot, responds, You farted, my master. Soon, the odor fills the house, prompting her to suggest that ming change his clothes. Naively believing her since they are the only ones present, he leaves. Seizing the opportunity, Jia hurriedly heads to the bathroom to relieve herself. However, Minkyu returns earlier than expected and discovers that the robot is missing. He searches the house for her and eventually finds her spraying his expensive perfume in the toilet. Jia pretends to be cleaning the bathroom, but Minkyu doubts her, stating that robots cannot touch water. Nonetheless, she lies, claiming to be an advanced AI capable of washing dishes. As ming prepares to leave, he notices that Jia's face is sweaty. He tries to approach her, but accidentally slips on a bar of soap. Jia rushes toward ming but instead of saving him, she grabs the perfume, causing them both to fall. Her weight, due to her iron plate, injures his ribs. That evening, while Jia is cleaning, she accidentally knocks down the card castle that ming has been building for 15 years. Witnessing this catastrophe, ming screams in agony. Before he can say anything else, Jia claims that her battery is at 5% and pretends to be in standby mode. Later, he meets with the professor and expresses his frustration with Jia's mistakes, but the professor advises him to give her more time to deep learn. Minkyu agrees to grant Aji 3 additional time. The following day, Minkyu becomes elated upon seeing a visitor and warns Jia not to leave her hiding place. It turns out to be Riel, his former love interest. She tells him that her parents want them to marry. However, his excitement quickly turns into horror when Riel touches his hands. ming averts his face and manages to conceal his spreading rash from Riel. He then feigns having an important meeting and rushes back to the house. In his mansion, he has a restricted room where his emergency syringe containing the antidote is located. However, his strength fails him and he is unable to grasp it. When Jia discovers him, ming has already collapsed on the floor, struggling to breathe. Just then, the scene shifts back to a time when everything was normal for ming -Kyu. It takes us back to the moments when he didn't have an allergy to human touch. In one memory, ming parents cheer him on as he constructs his very first house of cards. When the house of cards falls down, ming disappointment is quickly replaced by his father's cool card tricks. 
Another memory takes us to Minkyu's birthday party, where the whole family engages in word games during the drive home. Unfortunately, a balloon hits his father's face as he rolls down the car window, causing their vehicle to collide with an oncoming truck. After waking up in the hospital, Minkyu mourns the loss of his parents who died in the accident. Throughout the day, several relatives visit Minkyu and attempt to become his legal guardian with the primary intention of inheriting his parents' money. However, when Minkyu goes to the bathroom and checks his pockets, he discovers a mysterious message advising him not to sign anything. Later that day, Minkyu's friend Yu Chul approaches him with adoption papers, claiming his father sent him. Yu Chul suggests that it would be great if Minkyu could be his brother. After careful consideration, Minkyu eventually signs the adoption papers. However, when he looks down, he sees Yu Chul's hand transforming into monstrous claws upon contact. Terrified, Minkyu screams and runs away while strange blisters appear on his hands where Yu Chul touched him. Yu Chul later returns to his father, delivering the adoption papers and revealing that the task has been completed. However, when his father reads the last page, he discovers the words son of a bitch written instead of Minkyu's signature. Realizing that Minkyu simply wants to be left alone, he understands the kid's true intentions. Meanwhile, young Minkyu returns to his dark and empty mansion, living in isolation from other humans. Feeling betrayed by everyone, he develops a deep disdain for other humans, resulting in his allergy. To make matters worse, as he grows up, only his personal doctor knows about his allergy. Jia, unaware of Minkyu's condition, upon seeing him on the floor gets scared, but watching his suffering, comes to help him by injecting him with a syringe. Returning to the present, Minkyu abruptly wakes up with Jia by his side. He recounts a dream where people were betraying him, but he is surprised to find himself in completely normal condition without a single mark. This realization prompts him to affectionately squeeze Jia's cheeks, grateful that she administered the injection. His happiness lasts short as he realizes he has not only one syringe, but various everywhere in his body and sends her away. As Jia and Minkyu spend more time together and grow even closer, Minkyu extends an invitation to accompany him and Riel on a date. Unfortunately, the outing turns out to be a disappointment as Riel tells him she no longer wants to marry him, as she only sees him as a friend. As Riel prepares to leave, she suggests a friendly handshake. Reluctantly, Minkyu takes her hand, triggering his allergies. He struggles to breathe and contemplates using his syringe, but his weariness with his miserable life holds him back. Fortunately, Jia arrives just in time and assists him. She sits beside him and starts raining. Minkyu's condition improves, and his vital signs normalize without the need for the syringe. Shortly after, they decide to head back to the apartment. While turning a corner, Minkyu accidentally collides with a gardener and falls down. Surprisingly, his allergies do not flare up when a gardener checks if he's alright. Encouraged by this, Minkyu decides to test himself by immersing in large crowds, something he has avoided for the past 15 years. Later, as they explore further, a child accidentally bumps into Minkyu's hand, but no allergic reaction occurs. They join a crowd to watch an outdoor performance, and Minkyu jumps when the person beside him grabs his hand to wave. To his relief, his monitor indicates everything is fine. Afterward, he finds a quiet spot and contacts his personal doctor, Dr. O, to share the news of his recovery. However, while tearfully confessing that his allergy has vanished, a passerby bumps into him, causing his monitor to emit a loud beep. Meanwhile, Jia starts searching for Minkyu, and by looking at her, his pulse slows down and his rashes begin to fade away. Astonished, Minkyu stares at Jia, but his symptoms return when a couple obstructs his view. When Dr. O asks if there's someone nearby, Minkyu admits, someone is here. When I see someone, the rashes disappear. And when I don't see someone, the rashes come back. However, as Jia smiles and waves, Minkyu tearfully confesses, it's not a person. After ending the call, Minkyu embraces Jia and expresses gratitude for her presence. He vows to purchase the most durable batteries for her and proclaims his desire for her to stay with him forever. Jia is taken aback by his words, and the nearby crowd starts cheering for them, leading Minkyu to kiss her on the forehead. Back at home, Minkyu assures Dr. O that he feels fine despite his recent interactions with people. 
To confirm his claim, he stands in front of his full-length mirrors and uses his phone as proof. Dr. O is amazed that Min Q hasn't needed medication after human contact for the first time in years, attributing it to the robot's presence. Dr. O instructs Min Q to recount everything that has happened since the robot appeared to understand the cure. In the following days, multiple experiments are conducted, all confirming that Min Q remains well when accompanied by the robot Jia. Consequently, he takes her along whenever he meets someone and considers her his most valuable possession. Meanwhile, the AG3 robot is finally repaired and functional, although it requires time to adjust and transition smoothly. Professor Hong states that AG3 needs a few more days for deep learning and preparation. Jia, who has started adapting to her new life, feels saddened by the news. However, one day, everything changes. While alone, Minkyu pulls into a gas station and opens his trunk, where he keeps credit cards and cash readily available. When the attendant hands back his card, their fingers brush each other, but Minkyu is too preoccupied to notice and simply drives away. However, a few minutes later, he realizes that he had touched the attendant's hand and checks himself for any skin irritation. Surprisingly, Minkyu finds nothing wrong, and his health monitor also confirms that he is in a normal state despite being alone. Therefore, he schedules a meeting with his personal doctor. Upon arriving at the hospital, Ming-Q embraces Dr. O without saying a word, expressing gratitude for the doctor's dedicated efforts over the past 15 years. This gesture indicates that Ming-Q has finally been completely cured. After calming down, the doctor asks Ming-Q if something specific made him happy, and Ming-Q responds that he now understands what love is. As expected, Dr. O assumes Ming-Q is referring to Riel and suggests that Ming-Q should also thank AG3. Subsequently, the doctor informs Min-Q that he can now send AG3 away, explaining that Min-Q developed an attachment to the robot because she was his first friend in 15 years. However, now that Min-Q is completely cured, the doctor believes he can find even greater happiness through an attachment to a human. Min-Q protests, stating that AG3 brought him happiness, but Dr. O dismisses it as an illusion. He encourages Min-Q to experience the touch of someone he truly loves. Later that evening, a despondent Min-Q approaches Professor Hong and confesses his love for the robot AG3. Professor Hong understands why Min-Q has become obsessed with his first friend in 15 years, the one who also played a role in his cure. Min-Q admits that AG3 makes him feel alive, but Professor Wong reminds him that they are discussing a pre-programmed robot. Hearing this, Min-Q acknowledges his increasing desperation and tearfully begs the professor for a solution. The following day, Wong visits Min-Q and proposes a way to help him move on resetting AG3, which would cause her to forget everything. Although devastated, Min-Q realizes that this is the only option. Later that day, Jia learns about the decision. Heartbroken, she dresses up as AG3 one last time. The next scene shows her standing in front of Min-Q at his house as snow falls outside. He takes her on a final walk and returns to the mansion. They face each other, and Min-Q reveals that the things he showed her today represent the everyday life she restored to him after 15 years. Min-Q expresses gratitude for her various roles in his life and apologizes once again. Jia struggles to hold back her tears as she reciprocates her thankfulness and apologies. She hopes for Min-Q's future happiness. Min-Q gazes at her, shedding a tear, and calmly orders AG3 into operation mode. He announces his intention to reset her, despite Jia reminding him that their memories will be permanently deleted. Min-Q proceeds and before pressing the button, he places his mother's necklace around Jia's neck, embraces her, and then initiates the reset. He declares his love for her in his final message. Jia begins the countdown, and Min-Q embraces her tightly until she reaches one and sheds a tear. In the lab, the real AG3 reports the deletion of Min-Q's folder.